What up, Coop Coop, and welcome to the second war of Alliance War 17. We're in the same alliance, same lanes, we're off the same team, and you know how it is. So, here we go with Ghost, and the global for this war is Flow. Basically, if the uh, the defender that you're fighting against has the tag of control, then anytime you hit a crit on them, they power gain a certain percentage. But if you stun them, those power gains go, go away. So as you can see, Ghost is a control champion because anytime she phases, she hits into a phase, she gains power. So she can control power. And for this fight, you have to get at least two uh, um, heavy attacks off. So I do have to crit no matter what. And Ghost crits no matter what as it is already. And I was thinking, maybe I'll bring a Wasp for this fight. I'm like, no. If I bring Wasp, she's going to a special 3 for sure. Just like that. I'm at the phase of special 3 with all the power gain because Ghost crits all the time and she's going to be power gaining all the time. So, Ghost isn't great for flow, let me tell you right now. But, if you have Hood on your team, Ghost is decent. As you'll see, it'll save me a few times this war. But, that's the first fight. The second fight is Mordo and Ego's heavy and backup recovery. And, Mordo is also a control champion for flow. So, anytime you hit a crit on him, he's going to power gain, he already power gains as it is, but it doesn't help you at all, and I'm like, you know what, I've done this fight numerous times with Wasp on Flow, no problem at all, whatever, and if he, just, if he hits a special 3, I can take numerous special 3s using Wasp, so I get my heavies off, no problem at all, and now I get to do some real damage, he's out of special 2, I'm going to try and dodge it, not going to happen, he's not throwing it, I'm going to throw my heavy attack into him. It connects. He throws a special 3. Like I said, his special 3 does not do not much damage, ever. So, this is the only fight I plan on using Wasp for this whole fight, this whole, like, war. So, almost kill me. Go for it. But don't kill me. So, he throws his heavy into me. I'm fine with it. I throw my special 2. Get him down a bit. And he's under 50%. And he power gains. He hits me into a heavy attack. I'm like, whoa. How the heck did that happen? He throws a special 3 right away. I'm like, no way. I dodged back from the heavy attack, and I was going to retaliate with my heavy attack and kill him. No way he just got me there with a special 3 and a heavy attack. That was ridiculous. It took me 50% damage, like, just the heavy attack. I was so mad. I'm like, dude, that's my first death this whole season on my path. And already not looking good. But here I am with Ghost, and the good thing about Ghost is that if you parry Mordo, he cannot evade your um crits so he's already being a, a jerk and i parry him get off his i get one hit there luckily i don't know how i got the hit there and here i'm still not doing damage yet i thought i got both indestructibles off he still has one indestructible he throws his his special three but i phase so it's okay i still have to get one more heavy attack off to take away his indestructible which i am like why did that special two do nothing then i realized i didn't do all the damage yet so I need to parry him, throw my heavy attack, there it goes, now I can do damage. And he's being defensive, which is okay, sometimes you can throw a heavy attack into his, um, into his block, sometimes you can. And here I am again, about to throw a special 2 into him, see if I can finish him off, and I do. And I have no damage, so I'm like, you know what, maybe next time on flow, I'm gonna take Ghost into that fight. So the sh next show note again was either Havoc or Nihilus, I didn't feel like taking it, so... Here I am on the second section on path three. And here I am on the first diversity fight of the season, pretty sure. It's a blade on path three. The first note is best defense in Shank. If you hit into his block, you bleed. And if he has the possibility of auto blocking or evading, then if he does it, then he gains power. But he's not doing that because he doesn't evade or auto block. So here I am throwing my specials into him. I have no problem at all fighting blade. I did die to him last season. From trying to punish the special 2. I learned my lesson. As you see here. I did not punish that. Because I punished it. He parried me last season. And there's no way I'm doing that again. And special 2 when he's down. Not a problem. Hidden to his block. But unblockable. Doesn't count. On to the next fight. Which again. Is going to be backup recovery. And best defense. Where again. If this defender can auto block. Or evade. There's a higher percent chance of it. And if they do. They gain power. So. Stealth Spidey does evade. So there's a higher chance of evading. Although. He mainly only evades if he has the evade charge. Or evade buff as you'll see up there. But with Ghost, he won't evade ever if you have your um if you're phased or if you have your um 
do a buff up for being able to counter evade. So I took his evade away right there on purpose. It's always good to know how to take it away as you do a hit into his evade and back up right away. And the way I usually fight Cell Spidey, unlike right there, is I do a um, one hit back, or one dexterity back, and I throw a medium right away. Kind of like fighting Domino. So now backup recovery just came in, and now he has special two. No problem at all. He's about to throw it into me. Hopefully I can kill him before, and I did. So he did not throw special two. I kill him before. And on to this next fight, and this one is fun. This next fight is Debuff Immune, Special 1 Luck, Black Widow Clairvoyance, who is also a control champion. And this fight is great because you can't stun her when you hit her with a crit, so she's going to gain power like nothing. But with Ghost, what I love to do, as you're going to see me do here, I'm trying to gain power quickly to get her a special one, but I'm going to bait out her medium attacks, just like that, or uh, heavy attacks, so that I can turn any blade of her that she hits me with into... A Fury, because when she throws a heavy attack in you, and you dexterity bleed, I turn those all into Furies, threw my special one, she was down in a few hits, just like nothing, and here I am, I try the exact same thing I did against this stun immune, against stun immune, counter tactics, breakthrough, black willow clairvoyant, mini boss. I repeat, again, the global is flow, and she's a control champ, so she's going to be gaining power like nothing. And my goal here is to finish her off before she gets to a special 3, which is going to be very quick. So here I am throwing up on a 1 boost. I think I just throw, or I might throw an attack boost on also. I do, I throw an attack boost on and I throw a health boost on. I heal it up a little bit. And my goal here is to bait out her heavy attacks, turn those bleeds straight into a fury, and get to a special 2 or a special 1 and finish her with it. So I'm trying to get as much power as I can here. There I am. She's already power gaining. And turn that straight into there. Again, I have six Furies now. I have about to have six Furies, or nine Furies in that hit. See how hard it hit there? Again, now I have nine Furies. Special two with three Furies. 33,000, 34,000, 47,000, about 100,000. Yeah, that was 100,000 for that special two. Because I had the Furies, I was able to... Um, that I was able to convert the Blades and the Furious. But now I'm on the second mini boss fight. Plague Mine, Limber, and Kinetic Reactor. So anytime he hits my block, he gains power. And every 20 seconds or so, 30, he drains my power. So this Dr. Doom is okay. He's not a flow champion, but he's still annoying to fight on this node. Because if he hits you with a special 1 or special 2 and you're blocking it, he gains power for another one. And he will cycle them with his aura up and you're doomed. Ha, <laughs> doomed against Mr. Dr. Doom. Get it? Again? I made that joke last war. Anyway, straight into it with Ghost. I'm trying to phase, get to a special 2 as fast as I can. Throw it. Barely does any damage compared to <laughs> the last fight that I just did. But here I have to do. I have to bait out special 1s and actually dexterity it. See if I can do it. Unlike last war, I struggled a lot. Cool. 1 I've done so far. So can I do it again? 2 I've done so far. Nice. Good job, Coop. Killing it. Alright, so his aura is about to be up. And my power was just drained. I just blocked a hit. Which means that he gained a bit of power. I'm at half... I'm at one bar power. I want to get to two before my power is drained again. But this fight is going too slow. He's backing up. I'm like, that's not good. So I'm not going to get to a special two this time. I'm like, you know what? Next round, maybe I will. Get hit by a special one. That's fine because I'm not shocked. Power is drained. Not an issue. And his aura is about to be up. See if I can dodge this one. Nope. So far, two for four. I'm halfway through these. Again, I block and give him a bit of power. Let's see if I can get a special two before. Nope. There's no way I'm getting a special two before this. And I'm looking at the time. I'm like, this fight is not good yet. I am not doing enough damage that I want to do. I don't want to time out here. I know it can last. I just don't want to time out. All right, cool. So that's another two special ones I was able to dodge. I always want him to throw a special when his aura is up, so it doesn't add another aura, so I can throw my specials. Finally, I get a special 2. I throw it. It's a little bit more damage than the last one. Still not enough as I want. But he's being defensive, like a little doo, -doo head. <laughs> and we don't like that. So, again, I miss another special. That's fine. I phase. He hopefully went into me. I hit into him. And I'm hoping he throws a special while his aura is up. It's not. And we have a minute left, and he's 30%. I'm like, this is not good. But I got that one down. I baited that special one. 
and I'm just worried. I'm like 57 seconds left. The time is okay right now, but if it keeps being defensive, if I don't get the special two, I'm basically dead here. I throw my special two. I know it's always about to be done. Got him down to five percent. I'm like, you know what? We got this war. Don't don't get hit here. Good. Come on, run to my face, run to my face. Ah, oh, he waited. I should have hit him right away there. But now I'm going to wait to face again. Face right here, he runs into me, and he is about to be dead. Just like that. Finish that fight off. Not enough health. But, if it weren't for that earlier fight, this would have been another perfect war. But there's a the Mojo boss. We somehow got him down. Mojo is great against Flo, but I did not bother because I don't have anyone for him. Ghost is terrible for him. But we end up winning this war, as you can tell by a little bit. And I'm actually proud of my battle group again. We're getting together really, like really well. We're working together pretty well. And even with people who are new to this season, and we're kind of learning what path works for everyone. And we did really well that war. I believe we got three or four deaths only on the paths, and not many, many, not on the mini bosses. So I'm really proud of everybody. And I hope to see you guys next war. So this is Coop signing off. Happy gaming.